here's a new high beam headlight system that I've put on my 1989 Lincoln Town Car. This was having all kinds of weird intermittent problems with the high beam headlights not wanting to stay on, sometimes staying on and sometimes not. So I decided to bypass the factory system and go with a, a new relay system. There are two relays, one on each side. Here's one and here's the other. The way that these work is one circuit of the relay switches the uh, low beam lamp and it switches the current coming in from the factory low beam headlight terminal either between the uh, high beam or low beam when the additional switch is added. Additionally, the other circuit in the relay completes a new circuit which runs to the battery through this fuse holder here and that illuminates the separate high beam lamps. I also put in a fail safe circuit in case the original dashboard switch or the original uh, steering column switch is activated. It, the signal from that switch feeds through a diode and activates the relays However, since when that switch is activated, there's no more current flowing through the low beam terminal, only these lamps will come on. But I don't ever intend to use that. That's just a safeguard in case the switch accidentally gets activated. It won't cut the headlights off completely. But um, occasionally that, that switch still will work, but it's really intermittent. This is got an automatic dimming system and I thought well I just want to convert this to something simple that I can uh, troubleshoot in the future if I need to. So each relay controls each group of headlamps. An additional performance upgrade I might could do is to use a relay to switch battery current directly into the headlamps, the low beam lamps, because you do get a, a boost in brightness when uh, these, these ones here are really bright. You get a boost in brightness for, from the uh, power not having to go through all the resistance of the factory wiring. So I'll demonstrate the switch for them now. I also put in a new uh, coolant overflow tank. Not a new one, but a salvage one because the other one had a leak in it. And I was losing uh, antifreeze from the, from the radiator when it would come out. So that solved that problem there. So the way I have this is that the uh, high beam switch system gets power through coming back from the headlight switch. So it can't be activated unless the headlight switch is on. So I've got the headlight switch on now. Now I'll turn on the high beams. And there's also a dashboard indicator lamp for some reason the factory uh, indicator lamp system is not working and so even when the high beam switch would work I never would know if the high beams are perhaps on like say in the early morning uh, when it was just twilight you couldn't tell if perhaps the high beams inadvertently were activated and so now you definitely can. You can see Maybe, I don't know how well you can see on the camera, but the uh, high beams are really nice and bright. And if I ever have a relay failure, I just unplug one and plug it back in. Because I really don't have, I really don't like the quality of a lot of automotive electrical systems. They seem like they use connectors that fall apart too often, relays that end up going bad and I don't even really recommend some of the aftermarket automotive type relays because I had trouble with one it just the coil just burned up on it after a little bit of use in the Grand Marquis so those might be okay for intermittent duty but I like a real a real relay a real high quality relay to do anything I'm going to use a relay for so that seems to work really good. It was getting around time for the state inspection, so I needed the high beams to work for it to pass, too. So I passed the inspection with no trouble. Some other uh, modifications I made 
was to bypass, completely bypass the automatic temperature system and just use this manual control which seems to work really well. I just use, modify this choke cable to activate the blend door down behind the uh, glove box there. And this is just like what an international Lodestar would have used. And I mean maybe if the, there was a car that was like going to a museum or something or a, a car show you'd want to restore all this complicated stuff but I just don't this complicated luxury stuff after about 20 or 30 years just all seems to be so troublesome and I just want something that's simple and that will do the job and it's not it's not a really big modification this panel could be replaced if I ever felt that I needed to also I put in the Philco Ford AM radio and uh, I'll have to do a separate video of this to demonstrate it I don't have my keys with me now to turn on the uh, ignition switch but I've got the Philco Ford radio installed and it seems to work pretty good so those are all the modifications I made uh, to the Lincoln